So let us now continue the discussion of this topic. So what is scraps? What does it mean? So for today, uh, number one would be what we call the feed scraps. Feed scraps are such as oats, uh, alfalfa, alfalfa, alfalfa are harvested for livestock consumption. These crops contain nutrients that animals need to develop. They are grown in agricultural fields, but can also be found in natural meadows or pastures. So, ito siya, ito yung mga feed crops. Usually, uh, natatanim ito siya, but for some reasons, for example, kagaya sa atin, di ba some of you, um, you have livestock in your, in your house, or meron kayong mga alaga na iba. Pero hindi naman talaga, I know, it's not the practice of Filipinos to, it's not the practice of Filipinos to uh, plant something and um, para ipakain lang sa livestock, diba? Sino ba, I mean, sino ba sa inyo dito ang nagtatanin para ipakain sa baboy? Yes, although if you if you have what we call figuri, figuri or livestock farm, yes, some of you would literally plant, but ano yung pinaka ano? Ano ang um, means of uh, pagkuha natin or pagkuha ninyo ng mga iba't ibang pagkain so, sa baka nyo. So let us have what we call the forage crop. This is what uh, for livestock farming. Ito sa yung animals are feed directly on forage such as grass. Forage is like, for example, nasa labas lang yung uh, kung ano pa ba sa kalabaw o sa baka, itugway lang siya. Then they would just forage it. Forages that are cut or fill as a oil, they are what? Peel, fresh, and green are called green chop. So, isa sa mga popular nito yung alfalfa. Some forage are cut, allowed. Ito naman, di ba? Minsan naman, ang ginagawa na, ng mga tao is, minsan, nagsustock tayo. So, ito yun. Forages are cut and allowed to dry in the field or in stored. They are called, they are what we call the hay crop. Another forage crop is silage, the silage. Harvested, stored under the conditions then. After that, they are break down. And after that, yung mga acid, they are fed to the cattle uh, livestock. So, ito siya, for, your, uh, for activity number two for this video, uh, maghahanap kayo ng iba't ibang uh, iba't ibang uri ng ano ha um, forage number one is the uh, iba't ibang ano pala feed crops so let's start with the forage then we have the dry and we have the silage uh, wag kayong maghahanap ng explanation maghahanap lang po kayo ng mga pictures then ilalagay nyo sa discussion Pictures lang ha. Tatlong pictures lang ito muna. So this is, again, yun, number one. Feed crops. So, hahanap ko ng forage, uh, hay crop, then silage. Silage or silage. I don't know what, how to pronounce that. So, the principles of feed crops include what? Corn, barley, wheat, and oats. Each of these crops has different properties and suited for the different animals' diet. Kaya naman pala, di ba? Kasi, do you think, um, para sa atin, iba't iba naman yung kinakain ng mga hayop natin. Hindi po, hindi po, po, hindi po pwede yung pinapakain mo sa kambing, papakain mo rin sa baka. And may mga pagkain ng baka na hindi kinakain ng kambing, na hindi rin kinakain ng mga ano, ng mga kabayo. So, they are very different. So, each of these crops have different properties to utilize or to suit animal's diet. So, iba-iba talaga. So, iba rin po. Alam nga naman, ipapakain mo sa manok, papakain mo rin sa baka, o ipapakain mo sa manok, papakain mo rin sa mga bibi. Diba? Iba-iba. The production of feed crops has risen dramatically within the increase of meat demand worldwide. And this figures of production has changed the agricultural landscape. Bakit they change ang kanilang agricultural landscape? Kasi please remember that uh, meron po tayong high carbon emission dahil na rin sa 
sa ano sa maraming hayop na madaming pinoproduce tapos yung tae ng mga hayop would produce carbon and hindi ito siya maganda kasi it is not ano uh, good for the environment but rest assured feed crops are being produced kasi marami sa atin or marami sa inyo are what carnivorous people so that's why Meron tayo dito. Next. We have the fiber crops. Fiber crops such as cotton, hemp, are harvested for what? Textile and paper products. Textile or paper cloth are made with dried and processed fibers of a certain plant. So sa atin sa Pilipinas, alam mo yung pinakasikat na fiber plants? We have the abaca, we have the pinya. Diba? These are these are one of our what? Yung parang ano ba? Pinaka we are very proud of the abaca cloth and the pinya cloth. So most fibers are used are taken from what? Uh, stems, roots of these plants such as flax. So ginagamit ito siya para gawing mga linen. So other also plants can be harvested for fiber like cotton. The most popular fiber crop in the world is harvested because it's light and floppy. And the plant seeds. The textiles made from bamboo are manufactured from the pulp of the plants. So ito siya. This is one of the great things kasi. Kasi marami tayong bamboo dito sa Philippines, diba? So pulp from the fiber are used to the variety of products. It can be used as to manufacture paper products. And it's also a very controversial kasi marami tayong product na pwedeng gamitin, especially the abaca. Di ba? Like the abaca twine, the abaca uh, fiber. Kasi masyado siyang mahal. And it's very tedious to, to make. Oops. Nagbalik. So, for number two question, you would, for the number one, yung uh, uh, dun sa number one is feed crops. So, number two is the fiber crops. So, number two naman, ang gagawin nyo is ganito. You look for a certain plant tapos na pwedeng gawing flow. Tapos, ilalagay niyo doon sa sa tabi niya is and, uh, this plant would produce something like this. For example, the abaca. Ang abaca could be made into a barong tagalog. Pinya is also for the barotsaya or the the traditional Filipino uh, Filipino textile. So, bawal na pong gamitin yung abaca at saka yung pinya. So, maghahanap kayo ng iba pang uri ng fiber crop. Okay lang kung wala siya sa Philippines. Pero ito sa paunahan kayo ng pasa. Kasi baka dumating yung time na ano mangyari. Pag meron kayong kaparehong na fiber crop, yung nasa baba na pumasa, hindi ko yun siya because I will not put score on that work. So make sure that you would be the first one to pass para masaya. So let's end the video here first. So I will see you after the next one. Bye.